American Ambassador Ming Tian Chen from Hong Kong Phoenix TV. Mm. Um, we see that China has launched the uh, artificial intelligence deep seek mm -hmm. recently, which has aroused global attention. And mm -hmm. President Trump said this could be a wake up call for the mm -hmm. countries. And um, he said the US should win the competition mm -hmm. uh, between the US and China on the AI mm -hmm. developing. And we see that uh, the US Navy and also uh, Texas has announced uh, to ban mm -hmm. deep seek. What's your response on that? And also, uh, last year, the UNGA has. Um, uh, has ha, has approved this resolution to enhance the global mm -hmm. uh, cooperation on AI. Uh, mm -hmm. How would the US and China cooperate uh, while competing um, on AI development? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for the uh, for the question. Indeed, uh, the uh, the deep seek has <laughs> caused global sensation, and also uh, some uh, uh, commotion or even panic in certain quarters. And so uh, I'm not a technical person, um, so I will not go into the, uh, the technical details, but I'm sure, and I encourage all of you to use it. It will, be, it will come in handy in, when you write your uh, uh, news reports, I'm sure. And the, uh, <laughs> but uh, as I said, I will not go into the technical uh, details, but I think the takeaway from this for me, in particular, is that uh, the uh, technical uh, technological containment and technological restriction do not work. I think that is a lesson that the whole world should learn, in particular the U.S. should learn. And uh, I've said this before, and I'm going to say this again. Never ever underestimate the ingenuity of the Chinese scientists and engineers. And also I want to say that uh, the uh, some of the knee-jerk reactions from some quarters uh, is totally unwarranted. Uh, what we, we need is not more bans or more close-ups and or more closures. Uh, uh, look at the, uh, the uh, Huawei, look at TikTok, now the deep, deep seek. How many more do you want to ban? Huh? The, uh, so, uh, and the, uh, for us, the, the right approach is to open up and is to have uh, cooperation, both on the technological level and actually for the political level as well. And you mentioned the, uh, the resolutions. Indeed, China and the US being the, most, the two most advanced countries in terms of the AI, we have so much to cooperate. And uh, the, uh, as we always say, that uh, AI has uh, profound ramifications in all assets of human life. So actually, in my view, we cannot afford not to cooperate. And uh, to, we need to cooperate in order to make the benefits of AI uh, available to all countries, in particular in, in the global south, and actually, talking about the resolution. That is the, uh, the, the reason why China put forward that resolution. That is to strengthen the international cooperation in terms of the capacity building, in particular for the global south. And actually, in addition to that, we all know that AI has uh, both the benefits and also the potential risks. And there need to be real uh, guardrails. And uh, in order to have the, the proper guardrails in place as the AI develops, we need cooperation, in particular between China and, uh, and the United States. If we have fragmentation, it can only enhance the risk and reduce the benefits. And I don't think uh, that is uh, in the interest of anyone, including the United States, and in particular, not in the interest of the whole world. So as I said, some of the knee-jerk reactions need to stop, and they are not uh, warranted. Thank you.